Hi, Brett. Hey, Bryce. Want to green this room up? Let's green it up. It's Halloween. Yes, it is. And we've got a Halloween show mm -hmm. packed. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. going to do, we got we got a little taste test sure. coming up a little bit. I've snuck a topic onto the lineup. Fantastic. I had a bunch of stuff prepped for, I like to bring like, like uh, potential ideas for the show. And usually the ones I don't use, maybe I kind of, Bring to the green room for maybe a little more in depth, a little more, a little more, a little more discussion mm -hmm. based on that stuff. Um, but this one clip that I'm going to show, which is an amazing clip, uh, I, I can't do it from here, or I'd play on my phone. Or, or right. Or so we'll, we'll we'll do it in the show, but it'll be a fun one. Cool. Um, is are you like a Halloween fan? Do you like uh, Halloween? I Jew. I, I Jew. Well, you can, Here we you go. Can, you can double That's down on it, we but start. I recommend not. Um, three, <laughs> four. four. I I do enjoy the Halloween. Yeah, not as much as my friend Jessica, but okay. I I like I like the whole ideas around it. I like and, what they're doing. You know, I like the mission of Halloween. Yes. <laughs> I mean, before it gets truly commercial. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> right. You know, Halloween is about spending time with your loved ones and getting candy, not, you know, right. buying costumes no. and plastic jack-o'-lanterns. Right. And, you know, we're really in, it was really, you know, we're in the hands of big pillowcase. And, and, and I'm here to say, mm -hmm. drop the case. Drop it. Drop it. Drop, drop the, the case. case so that we might move on. That's right. This is nothing. No. Um, I, I'm like not a Halloween no. person why well, i don't like dressing up okay um i didn't even really want to do the very lazy uh -huh. outfit i've done uh -huh. today um you and doug have that in my buddy doug have that in common yeah he will we'll make whole big plans to do a big costume thing and he shows up in his shorts and in fact i'm kind of dressed like doug right yeah, uh, now. yeah a little bit you got your uh your pga tour shirt yeah, that's on that's right that's right. I just it I I don't know. I don't I'm I think maybe I'm not food driven. I'm not okay. like candy or sweet driven. Sure. Certainly not as much anymore. Like I feel like I used cuz I'm not, I don't even cook as much anymore. Right. But I I'm I don't like snacking and candies and stuff. Like chocolate's fine, but I I don't like to snack too much. So Halloween, it's just like um here's a lot of this stuff that you're okay with and yeah. also you have to dress up and like make a big thing out of it right like i i don't i uh, i i just uh, i didn't, didn't want to make a whole thing out of i'll it. say that most holidays uh i enjoy for other people mm. like i'm not big into most holidays okay like personally yeah but i like you don't love other bastille people... day no you're not into bastille day no armistice day i mean Okay, maybe Armistice Day. You know, are you a pacifist or not? Uh, so, <laughs> I it's it's just like Halloween. There's like I feel like there's a lot of pressure on Halloween to be all of these other all these different things. Yeah, um, and I don't and, and and maybe it's just a bunch of things I don't want to do. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, as everybody will see, I'm not in costume right now. Oh, okay. I will be in costume. Interesting. When we get. <laughs> I will be in costume for the show. For, for the, the show, show. Okay. and you will see that uh, as an actor, mm. I like to build characters, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so I may have a Halloween costume, but the costume is more about the backstory than it is the actual thing. So okay. everybody will see. Wow. We'll see that. There we go. Tune yeah. in for Great Night, Great Night. Yep. That's that's all I'm doing. All I'm doing is pimping for <laughs> for the show that everyone's show. watching already. Yep. <laughs> I, I'm not going to tip. I'm, I think we'll be talking about costumes during the show, so I sure. won't talk about mine. But mine is very lazy. And if I don't even do the voice, then you can't even tell. Then it looks like, you know, you're... I just, I just look like Andrew Heaton. A little bit. I look like Andrew Heaton. I, I, and, and for a long part of today, I thought, if I just say I'm Andrew Heaton... Everybody it will be okay. Everyone will fucking love it. Yes. Because it'll... Ah, yes, I can do the voice <laughs> of the Andrew Heaton voice. <laughs> But Andrew I to, Heaton. Andrew, but I wanted you to. Got to hit the T. 
Heaton. Heaton. Andrew Heaton. But I, I, I don't. I, I, I know I have a lazy costume, so I'm just going <laughs> to lean into it. Um, oh, I have a lazy costume too. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, I will. I, I understand that you will. Wait. I don't yes. have one. No, this isn't it. I understand you're. I understand you're still not wearing a costume. <laughs> I, I mean, but, but Bryce, aren't we all wearing oh costumes? Oh my fucking god, <laughs> going to go crazy! No, but you're doing. You have like you are ducking out of the green room early. Spoiler: alert, You're yeah. ducking out of the green room early so that you can go put it on. Yes, because you've got shit to do for it. Yeah, that's true. That is big. Like this, this is a new costume. Yeah, I. The biggest, the biggest trouble with this costume, honestly, was seeing if I had thrown out my ties or not. I had not. How many ties do you own? I own probably t two or three dozen. Okay. I bought. <laughs> are any of them? Are bought... are any of them bow ties? No, none of them. Okay, none of them. I uh, when I <laughs> when I first got when I got my uh, previous job, it was it was you know a little more in a in a nice place. Sure. And I thought, oh well, I'm gonna I might need ties. Yeah. I don't know. And yeah. then and then you're at Ross, and then the ties are fucking nothing, and that one looks kind of funny. And you're like, sure, whatever. I'm gonna need yeah. ties. And now Scooby Nova Girl says it's a lot of ties. What if I told you they were all cheap? <laughs> what if yeah. I told you I don't even know what they look like really? You, like, you went good enough, good enough, yeah, good enough. I, I, here's how little I fucking cared about this, Brett. The box that my ties are in is in my closet. Mm -hmm. And my closet's a fucking mess. It's a fucking war zone. Um, well, I don't know. It's okay. But there's, uh, there's, <laughs> there's boxes and stuff. I keep storage. I don't use it as a closet. I use right. it as storage. Right. And all my ties are in a box because I bought them 15 years ago and I've sure. never worn them ever. Right. And, um, and and so the that box was like hidden under boxes, hidden under like hanging jackets. You had and stuff. to find it. I didn't even turn on my flashlight to like dig through the ties. I like kind of just it can be here we one, go. Yeah. That's that's how absolutely little I, I would I love remember. you're not gonna do this, okay. but I would love for you mm -hmm. over the next shows mm -hmm. to show up and have a different tie. Each show, just so you can run through them once and then just be done with it. I don't, I don't find any value in the just being done with it. Oh, okay. I don't have any sort of Damocles over my head that is shaped like a novelty tie, a novelty <laughs> tie shaped sword over yes. my head. Yes. Um, to use these, like right. I, I honestly, I was just more worried that I had thrown them away because mm. I, I. I, you know, every so often you do a little spring cleaning, and and I know I was like, I'm never gonna wear these fucking ties. I haven't worn ties ever. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna wear these. So I could have seen a world where I threw them away. Okay. Um, and so I was glad that I had not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you? Are you gonna? Uh, well, I, this was. Uh, that's a very. That's. Can I ask you the dumb question I was going to ask you? Please do. I, know I already started asking. You have my permission. What are you doing for Halloween tonight? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> be dressed up in a costume. <laughs> we doing this? Uh, uh, we we had. Well, uh, we, thinking like, oh, you're gonna go like trick or treating? Like, no, you're not no, gonna go trick I'm or treating. You're an I'm adult. Be here. And don't have, yeah. Uh, uh, we did buy uh, candy uh, a, a couple of months back when it was cheap, mm. and we put it in the bag, and 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 we're like, we're gonna give it out, and then we were like, we're doing the show. And EK's here too. Yeah. So what are we gonna do? And so today, when I walked to go get my breakfast burrito, bowl of candy, candy I, bowl. I, I didn't do that. No. I just, I just, my my uh, young couple neighbors mm -hmm. were walking out the door, and I'm like, "Hey, are you guys giving out candy tonight?" And they said, "Yeah." And I go, "You want twice the amount?" <laughs> And they're so like, a candy Why? Bowl and I said, I'll you, just bring it to you. You missed it. You could have been the cool house. No. You could have been the candy to bowl To one house. kid. To one kid. Yeah. You're like, fuck that. I'm taking Look, all man, of it. Not all that glitters is gold. Like, if 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 you gave something that beautiful out into the world, then yeah, it's gonna create a lot of shadows. Yeah. But the candy, the but for the one person. Yeah. That one Glorious. Person, and Glorious. any number of honest people, because that's the other thing. The honest people. They're also gonna feel great. Yeah. And you just gave all of that to your neighbor. Not only that, you gave your neighbor excess capacity that your neighbor, I think, is not gonna fulfill. Your neighbor's not gonna give out twice as much candy tonight because you gave them twice as much candy. True. And I'm sorry to say, but big L on that one. So big L on, on my that. only response to that is right now we have about six cats 
that are hanging around the house mm. because we're just putting food out there for them. And you know, you know what? Okay. There's some connections there to where I don't want to put a bowl of candy out there and then every day we're going to have six kids hanging around the house Every Always time. trying to get, I, you know, you just What's, can't feed them candy. They won't come around. They're not gremlins. I don't know. You can't, <laughs> you can't not prove that. I don't, yeah, all the straight, all the straight kids will I'd be eating see, your, your runs. Yeah, there, there are apartments near me. What's the best? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting to say the least. I, uh, what's the, uh, I'm going to give the question. I'm okay. going to give us a couple of seconds to think quietly. Sure. And then we're going to say the answer at the same time. Okay. What is the best Halloween candy? I'm going to count to five and then we're going to say it. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Full Snickers. size bars. Come on. No, don't. Come on. Uh, but Play Snickers. The game. Also, Snickers. Snickers is good. Full size Snickers. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, it's. It's just kind of a crowd pleaser, Snickers. Yeah. Snickers. I don't even like peanuts, and I'll eat a Snickers. Yeah, that's true. I don't like a peanuts. Snicker? Like a Snickers? Snick you know. Now, Reese's, also Reese's are good. You know what I would love? And I think I have this. I think I've seen this. Mm. Just give me Reese's peanut butter. Don't give me the cup. Give, you don't put it in a jar. Cup. Put it in a jar. Let me try it, because I love it. It's creamy. It's sweet. It's probably confectionery. Sure. Right? Because it's in a, a dessert. Yeah. Give me, give me a Jif jar of... Of Reese's peanut butter, they have to have that, right? Don't they have that? I, I, they must. I will see now. If we're just talking candy, yeah, I enjoy a Chico stick. What is a Chico stick? You don't know what a Chico stick is? Not by that name, but it you're, is, you're, you're no, that is, Chico stick is a long uh, 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 stick that is peanut butter based. <laughs> okay, but in a crunchy format. With uh, a little bit of uh, a, a light dusting of uh, of coconut on it. Oh, and growing up, okay, that's it's it's one of those that's been around for a long time. And you'd have a Chico stick and maybe a Dr Pepper to go, or 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 RC Cola. Wow, yeah, that okay. was like when you really want to get wired. When you want to lose all your teeth, just go for it. Okay, yeah. That sounds horrible. Yeah, well, probably because you don't like uh, coconut. I don't right? like coconut. Yeah. Hey, you got. Hey, mm -hmm. thank you for remembering. No, yeah, uh, yeah. I, 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 I better like... go put those mounds away. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind with the mounds. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, interesting, because I do like. Malvinia says it's like the inside of a butterfinger. Yes. And you know what? I I also like. I do like that. The here's the thing about butterfinger. The inside of the Butterfinger, uh, it's like a, it is a form of peanut butter, right? Yes. It's like a dried form of peanut butter yes. or something. And, uh, oh, apparently you can get them at Walmart. Um, oh, sure. I, uh, I, you know that whatever that shit inside the peanut butter, because no other candy has it. Yeah. No other candy uses the stuff inside of the peanut, in the, in the inside the Butterfingers uh, uh, anywhere else. Right. And I have to imagine, my guess is, is it's like asbestos. It's like a miracle food compound. Sure. And, 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 and we love it. It's like peanut butter, but it's dry. Yeah. And, and then, then, then no one else uses it because they know like, oh, well, that well, obviously, everybody's going to know. It, it makes your stomach into Swiss cheese. Sure. Like whatever. Like. Gives you dick cancer. It probably gives you dick cancer. That's why w you hit a certain age and you kind of stop eating. Eating Crunch Bars? Uh, yeah. Or uh, uh, not Crunch Bars, uh, 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 Butterfingers? Butterfingers. That's why Bart Simpson. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Bart Simpson has dick cancer. Wow. Yep. Don't have a cow, man. Wow. You know, I didn't see it in the movie, so it must have been after that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Can you believe they fucking put Bart... They That was in the movie. They... they you the, the, At the beginning of the Simpsons movie. Yeah. Like, actually, in the theaters, they drew his dick. They drew a dick, 
and they cut like on the TV versions and mm-hmm. the I think even the streaming versions maybe mm-hmm. they say like ah too hot for wherever it is what they wouldn't want you to see right come on but I know I saw I I saw that in the theaters little, little I'm not little uh, yellow thumb sticking out yeah out what it was it, the, the, it was it wasn't like a hog no it wasn't a it wasn't a yeah. hog at all it it was very much like an elephant it was you know the ear and the and the hose. Um, so just just as a reminder, like that's what the Simpsons do. Okay, yep. Fearless Reef. I know he's ten. Uh, look, he's it's a cartoon character. He had it. Okay, he's forty now. He's forty now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't be don't be showing your hog. <laughs> don't have a hog, man. <laughs> says I see you. <laughs> uh, Brett, I uh I have some stories here. Tell me some stories. Some I would like to tell you about the Sledgehammer Man. <laughs> How is this the visual bit that I couldn't do on the show either? I should have snuck this into the show because this is great. Okay. Do you know the Sledgehammer Man is... on uh, TikTok? No. He's at the Sledgehammer Man. And um, he he does trivia. Okay. He does trivia. Uh, he does it on the street. Okay. You know, um, he just kind of gets gets uh, you know, gets someone off the street. He's like, hey, you want to do some trivia? I'm going to um, play one of his clips here. Sure. Um, so you kind of get a sense. So first off. All right. First off, I'd like you to, what is the first image that we see here? It's uh, this fella uh, taking a sledgehammer to yeah. look like a piece of ice, maybe? It is a piece of ice. Yeah. What is the main ingredient in a milkshake? All right. Okay. Did you get that? Yeah. Milkshake. Milk. Yep. Is correct. For your first prize, you get some pin snips. Okay. <laughs> Great. Tin snips. Pin snips. Sure. Okay. What? So he does like sound effects instead of playing the actual sound of the okay. the the hammer. The so that was smashing. like a gong. It was like a gong. Sound. Sure. All right. Question two. I want to see if you can get this question. Okay. okay. What is the most common color of a strawberry? It would be red. Red. Red is correct. There you go, and you beat him. Yeah. See, if you saw this guy, you could have won. Face shield. <laughs> could have won a face shield. Oh, that would have been okay. nice. All right, question three. This is the, th- this is the last question. Okay. okay. So, so really, you got to bring it home. Yep. Oh. Sure. <laughs> that was, that was, that the was phone. What is the temperature of the sun's surface in Fahrenheit? Uh, mm. Fahrenheit? Uh, mm. Say 20 million degrees. Absolutely, man. All right, that is incorrect. The correct answer is. Do you know the answer? Do you know how hot the surface of the sun is? Uh, no, but I know that it is a mass of incandescent gas, uh-huh. a gigantic nuclear yeah. furnace. Okay. Uh, and millions how hot, of how degrees. Hot? It would be millions of degrees. Uh, Socrates 420's got it right. 10,340 degrees Fahrenheit. 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. I was going by the song by They Might Be Giants. Yeah, I wouldn't trust them. Yep. They still think they still think we know what Constantinople is. Right. Let alone what it's supposed to be. That's true. Um and all of his videos are like that. Okay. Is like smash, easy question, harbor freight tool. Yeah. <laughs> smash, easy question, harbor, harbor freight, freight tool. tool. Yeah. And then smash in a very specific question right. that people don't normally get. I, I was hoping that I was I was worried that then he would take those two devices. That he gave to them and then smashed those because he got the answer wrong. Oh yeah, I was worried for a minute. And so I, uh, I found that guy. I don't know a couple months ago on TikTok, and that's all he does now. But I was scrolling back today to see. I could have. I thought he had made one where he just kept in the sound of the sledgehammer hitting the ice, mm-hmm. and I couldn't find one. Now I wasn't. I was looking on the computer. Maybe it wasn't right. Whatever. But. Um, but then I found that that was not his original bit. What's his original bit? His original bit was just smashing shit with a sledgehammer. So he's Gallaghering it. Uh, no, not. I would not even say that. Here, this is one of his clips. It's him like smashing a can, a tall boy of like coffee uh, or something. Uh, yeah. Um, that's a five pound bag of cement. S- yeah. That's a. So that was it. Not even trivia. Right? No, yeah, not even that. It was just him f- fucking, fucking up, shit up, fucking shit up on his on his little sledge pedestal. Sure. 
And like it was probably a fetish channel. That's oh, did I just fool you? <sighs> oh, did I just screw it up? I'm sorry. Thing is, like, yeah, I, I, I absolutely 100% see it. <laughs> I get it. That's man. We've been hanging around Brian too long. <laughs> I swear. Because <laughs> did I just ruin your bit? No. Okay. No, no, no. I don't think so. No, I, I mean we're we're discovering a new facet for sure. Mm-hmm. But I don't I don't think this is ruined by by any means. But you know, like, man, that is something I am where I am more heightened than ever on the internet of, which is, is this, um. Is this kink? Am right. I looking at kink or right. am I enjoying a, a, a funny meme on the internet? You know? As long as as long as people or conscious beings are not <laughs> being harmed. Okay. Uh I'm usually I I mean, I don't find the cool thing about that kink thing, but I never am one to go. No, I, mean, I just go. I, I just go. Okay, all right, cool. But it, it, it's, it's not a judgment on the fact that it's sexual, the fact that it might be kink, that it might be softcore, whatever. Right. It's just, um, I, 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 it's not a judgment call on whatever the specific thing is. It's just kind of being wrapped up into it. Um, I don't know. It's, it's. I feel like there's. We talked about this with the AI stuff, mm-hmm. how AI is all going to be driven by porn. Mm-hmm. And I see a lot of that of like, they got this new Bing image creator, which is really cool and mm-hmm. really powerful. And also all the, the Tumblr posts that I see about it are people trying to hack it or use, use the right prompt to get something that is like kind of soft core or kind of sure. kink, but maybe not immediately sexually explicit. Right. Um, and... And that's that's also a tough thing to run into. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's strange. I don't because I don't want to yuck any yums. No. Mm, I don't know. Like, like there have been. There's a conspiracy about like the Disney, the old Disney cartoons having like sex references oh, yeah. in, in them. Sure. And like. I mean, I say rumor just because I don't know if it's true, but I'm pretty sure it's it definitely was true and definitely happened. Uh, definitely in uh, Lion King, that's for sure. Yeah, and 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 uh, what's the one? Um, uh, the Fantasia? under the sea. Oh, Mer- Little Mermaid. Yeah, and Fantasia, the original Fantasia. Oh yeah, there didn't used to be brooms. Them 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 centaurs, they'd be fucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'd be they'd be fucking, yeah. and everyone knows that. That's yep. from the that's in the vault. Mm-hmm. I I. What my look from my my run-ins is that animators get around. Yeah, you know people who draw really well and get into the like art industry. Also, just cha- just like by good chance, like does some amount of like explicit or sure adult material or whatever. Yes, I don't know. I've I feel like I've seen stories of people who are like, yeah, I worked on X show and. I was an adult, maybe, or, or, or I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I just, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I, I, I adults make cartoons. Yes. Is I guess where I'm going with this. And, and many of them have to like, well, you know, I'm not trying to mess with any kids, but why don't I throw something in for the adults just so that they can be like, oh, and the kids aren't going to see it. Sure. Well, and like the Lion King example, like yeah. if, if you're in a world where freeze frame or or advance is not frame advance is not a thing then mm-hmm. no one's even going to notice the the naked lady picking the windows in the rescuers was a woman yeah the person who put it there that po- yeah. yeah thank you skipper Nova girl yeah it's that's that's interesting cuz and and that's a thing where i don't want to poke at i don't want to pull a thread at it not out of out of judgment in fact out of perception of judgment right. i'm i'm not intended interested in on like shaming people by figuring out their subtext. Right. Like I don't, I'm not trying to cast aspersions at all. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the people who make your cartoons make porn. Yes. So I don't know. Uh, it's, the world's small. 
I think that's yeah, the thing is. I keep finding. I had someone ask me, I don't know if they asked me for advice or just gave them advice, but, but a younger person asked me for advice a few years ago. And the thing I told him was, the world is a lot smaller than you think it is. Yeah. Like, obviously, physically big, obviously. Sure. You know, n- 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 nations and r- cultures, religions, everything. Sure. But, like, your life, I guess maybe that's it. Your life is so much smaller than the world yes. you inhabit. And um, and I think as a, it, it, this is a younger person, so I, I, I don't know. I feel like when I was their age or younger, I didn't, I didn't quite have that. Like, yeah. I had a, I think I had a sense... Or maybe we try to instill in kids the idea of like uh, society has been figured out. We, you are in a system to work your way into a solved society. Sure. Um, and it's not the case. No. But um, so I don't know. I don't know if there's some if I don't know. I'm kind of rambling now. I'm kind of. It's, it's a kind of, great big universe and we are really puny. Yeah. We're just tiny yeah. little specks about the size of Mickey Rooney. God damn it. You're fucking, they might be giants. <laughs> shit. That's not, they might be giants. That's, Which one is that one? That's Animaniacs. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's oh, a great okay. universe and we're not. Not? That's what, that's the song. Oh, okay. It's a big universe and we're not. Sorry. Oh, and, oh okay. Okay. And we're not. And yeah. we're, okay. It's saying, look how vast and you're just not. So You're relax. Just, okay, yeah. So relax. Hmm. I have I've been thinking about the AI stuff. AI is in the news. Yeah. And uh, a a snippet of a headline I saw um, <laughs> to just lay out how fucking spurious this is going to be is that um, one of the big AI head honcho guys uh, said, "Oh yeah, you know hallucinations. You know where an AI." thinks something's true and just says it's true. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're solving them. It doesn't seem like the things that we're doing are working to fix this or to overcome this issue. All right. And, um, and, and, and so that made me think, um, is it, is it a case of like, man, this is really high thoughts. The episode. (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 you didn't even read that. I didn't even read it. That's I wasn't so even funny. Seeing that. Um, okay, here's where I'm coming from. This, I watched a view. There was a YouTube video from a few years ago from the uh, Retsu Prey channel. They they were doing a segment for a while where they would look at bad Kickstarters mm-hmm. and roast them for being bad. And one of them, which was a bad idea and was poorly presented, but was the idea of um, let's remake computing, but in trinary instead of binary. Sure. Let's do trinary zero, one, and two. And then imagine the world that opens up <laughs> somehow. Sure. Um, and that's, <laughs> this is so 2023 of me to say, but <laughs> that's nonsense. Yes. That's, that's nothing. There's not anything there. I'm pretty sure. Um, but, but there's still quantum computing. There is quantum computing, but it's not trinary. There is qubits, and and yes, that, that's not necessarily trinary. Yeah, but it's also not necessarily mm, three either. It's more than than that. Yeah, Krug says we've done four bit computing. Oh, interesting. It 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 just made me think of um uh a lot of the AI stuff because a, a lot of the large language model stuff is very much like. Uh, Autocomplete. It's very fancy autocomplete. It's mm-hmm. just pattern recognition, mm-hmm. and and so it it is so good at pattern recognition uh, that it appears smart. Yes, which is a thing that humans do. Yes, is, is <laughs> all he appears all smart all the time, <laughs> all the time, <laughs> and and we have this like concept of the black box, right? Mm. Um, an AI system where you know what you put in and it goes through some semi mysterious process spits out a result presumably what you want and maybe maybe what the black box is is not uh is not an order of like uh more 
more brain. We don't need more brain. We don't need more brain capacity. We need more dimensions. Like, right. you, like uh, we have a very difficult time uh, imagining any dimension above the third dimension or even understanding right. it, right? Yes. Uh, but there are many dimensions beyond the third dimension. Yeah. And if you're a computer, presumably, if you're a computer, presumably, you can see things in multiple dimensions in that way. Like, that is kind of how the LLMs work, is you feed a lot of data, and it looks at, it cuts it up into tokens, and it looks at what tokens tend to follow each other. Yeah. Um, and... Mm. I'm 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 just I I don't know I I is there something here? That's my first question. Is there something here? Because I don't know if there. Do you, are. You, so you're thinking that that can, oh boy, we need a. This there's gonna a be a. Thought. There's a. There's gonna be a breakthrough. We're talking about like AI chips and stuff, right? Like, it's like a third party problem issue. If we could invent a new way of thinking, then maybe the third body problem becomes. Moot maybe becomes insignificant, becomes obsolete. Oh, of course, we know how we don't. Have, we can solve twenty body problems, but when you get to twenty-one body problems, that's it. I can see. I can see that. Yeah, but we also have to get past the point where instead of just having pattern recognition when it comes to computers, mm -hmm. they have to be able then to. Actually, to know all of the information what that on means, Earth. yeah, like they can they can spot the things, but they don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. Well, and they have the data. I mean, it's not like the, they're pulling the data from something other than a computer, <laughs> from other than the internet. Uh, I that's I don't know. The lawn, uh, sorry, uh, Gigasney said this is Bryce's thesis generation segment corner hour, <laughs> which is absolutely true. That's my I'm, favorite thing. Is I'm here come. for it. Uh, I mean, literally, I'm here for it. <laughs> you're, yeah, contractually, you have nothing else to do for the next seven minutes, but yep. listen to me and rant about utter horseshit that I came up with when I was <laughs> high you. this morning. Thank you're you welcome. for doing that. Do you do you do okay? Like I like for for the show for on Tuesdays, I try to get stuff together. Sure. Um, do you do you have do you go through that process at all? Because uh, uh, there's not as much pressure put on you to to input. On, in that way. Well, when I when I when we first started to this model that we're doing right now, I did always try to think of okay, do I have a story? Do I have a, a thing that I I can have ready? Mm. Uh, and uh, recently, I've been just more like eh, I'm along for the ride because that seems to bring more value mm. than me trying to come up with something. Yeah. And it didn't help too that you know I was dealing with things external sure. to where it was like, I'm having trouble even coming up with something. So I just try to be like, I'll be positive. I'll be here. I'll be present. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's very appreciated. Yeah. You're doing great on the show, Brad. Yeah. Thank you. You're thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, it, it's been fun in these two years realizing what things I don't need to worry about. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, in the beginning I was oh, like, yeah. do I need to, do you need mess. me here? Do you need, yeah. no, 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 no. And no. now it's, like I threw it on you or I like surprised you fucking 40 minutes ago saying like, Hey, I need you to help me with this game today. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was, it like, was no, it was sure. Nothing. Yeah. Um, so like, yeah, shout out, shout out to Brett, one Brett Weaver. There we go. That would have been perfect for the guys to walk in. If they had walked in at that moment, that would have been a wonderful. Yeah. Um, but they didn't. So I'm going to pull up so, my thing. What the hell? Here's a, did, did you watch any of the Apple stuff yesterday? The spooky, the, you know, scary, the scary fast. No. They did it at night. Okay. Normally they do it in the day, in, early in the day, so that you get a whole tech press cycle out of it, basically. But they did it at night. It was at like 7 o'clock here. It, explain. Time. Explain. Uh, so this is like an Apple keynote, you know, but they did it at night. Okay. And uh, it was also really short. It okay. was only like 30 minutes. Do you think they're getting away from the end one more thing? No, because I think they did that a few a couple years ago. Okay. Um, or at least that the idea of a and one more thing. Yeah. Um, but it was it was very much just like, hey, we've got new chips. Hey, we updated some of the computers. Bye. And I'm glad it was thirty. It was only thirty minutes. And the other thing that's kind of come up and been a thing about it is, you know, they're pre-recorded now. They've been pre-recorded for the past few years because of COVID. And uh, uh, at the end of this one. 
kind of just also by the way we shot this on an iphone and we edited on an automatic nice and and so that led to like well how did they do that because they do this very intricate very very uh uh elaborate you know pre-recorded conf all sorts of graphics yeah. drones and shit like it's it's a whole to do um and so they put out like a little behind the scenes thing of like neat yeah of like here's how we shot it here's the equipment and the apps and stuff mm -hmm. that we use it was it was really cool i and when i learned that when i learned that it made sense to me why they did it at night because the iPhones are very good cameras. They're good sensors. Not always, not always great in a lot of daylight. Oh. Not always great in a lot of daylight. It's IMO. too bright. Just doesn't, just doesn't quite know. A little blown it, out I, image? I, I, always, I always think it's a little cooked. It's, okay. Especially like saturation. Sometimes I think it's, it oversaturates skin tones. Um, but they shot it on with the Blackmagic app, and they had all of their motion arms and stuff in a big warehouse and all. Um, but, but I, I think they did it at night so they could shoot in a studio with a lot of dark elements Nice to kind of hide. That, no, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's what a fucking, um, that's what graphics cards have done forever. You know, every, <laughs> all those, all the nighttime 3d scenes. And you're like, the, Ooh, Ooh like, it, yeah, it's easier. It's so way. shiny and speculative. Yeah. yeah it's this puddle. You can't see a puddle in the daytime. Puddles are invisible during the day. Yes. They are a vampire. And so I, uh, that was neat. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm glad that they did that. They, they do a lot of really cool behind the scenes things with Apple on their, on their YouTube. Um, every year when they do like, uh, like the new backgrounds, the new wallpapers and stuff, when they're like chemicals and stuff, they do like a whole featurette of like, here's how we shot this on uh iphone and here's all the cool stuff mm -hmm. now this is a secret so if there is a secret little mouse back here make yeah. sure he doesn't hear oh yeah, okay. okay and so then i said and then you said fuck that guy fuck that little that mouse brian oh yeah yeah oh, oh, what fuck do you do him. he's an asshole oh. yep <laughs> Yep, he's of, an asshole. All right, this is great. I love that. I don't. Uh. <laughs> the I, the energy around here is weird today. I don't. The, oh, you know what? I know why I did that. And also, I don't know when when I need to sneak through here. I go outside. Yeah, I go outside and around. I thought he was coming. I in. thought he was coming in. I thought he was making a big like. Yes, that's <clears> what I thought too. But okay. Um, great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ignore me. Ignore me, citizen. That's my favorite thing. If you had to, if you had to re, if you had to build your own society. Yeah. It's Brettville. Yes. What is the first restaurant you allow to be built in Brettville? Uh, uh tell me what type of restaurant. Yeah. I mean, you are, are the mayor. Fast food you are, are the are mayor. Talking? Put out a call for food. Ding ding on the mayor! I'm hungry. Everybody will make a prop a, a proposition to me. What would I like? Um, are you gonna go something like Socrates in the chat is recommending Jack in the Box? It's a lot of variety, a lot of uh, spectrum there. Uh, I enjoy right now when when I don't want to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to enjoy. <laughs> nice. I think you're gonna wait. Come on, finish your I, I enjoy a, a, a good fried chicken. Oh, okay. And yeah. uh, uh, with the, the color. So that would be something. Or, oh, no. Wait. Cut. Okay. Start over again. Sure. Cut it. Vietnamese restaurant. That's mm. what I want. Okay. With really good pho because you can eat that in the morning and noon at night. It all works out. There you go. With uh, pho? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I... Recently got a bunch of pho because I was sick and I needed soup. So good. Right? Mm -hmm. But then I didn't eat a lot of it because I was sick. And so I threw it in the fridge. Sure. Oh. Uh, you can do that with and, pho. But it got, it got real it dicey. Separates. Yeah. yeah. Real fast. Yes. So you're saying I could eat it more morning, noon, and night. You're saying that you could eat an entire bowl of pho in the morning, an entire bowl of pho 
in the afternoon an entire bowl of fun at night or like like that, that you know, nurse it, one it, all it, day. It, yeah, exactly. This is my day for. Well, my Working thought. Oh, my day for. It, it's not that I have to eat that food morning, noon and night. I'm saying it's available to me. Mm-hmm. And well, the, it's appropriate uh, for me to eat morning, noon, and night. Yeah. The, the question was, he's the mayor of Brettville. Yes. And he can... What's the first restaurant? What's the first restaurant he allows oh, to be built? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Because then I'm, I'm going to have some good noodles. I'm going to have some good broth. I'm going to have spring rolls. It's I'm going to have spring rolls. Vietnamese Wait, coffee. What you're doing for, like, the families? Yeah. For the kids? Yeah. What, what, what's, what's the kids' menu at... Uh, a Vietnamese, a very restaurant. small Fucking bowl of pho, with small bowl of pho. Yeah. Oh, and a banh mi sandwich. The the banh mi would actually work. Banh yeah. Mi. Banh yeah. mini. Banh yeah, it's working. Work. You, know, yeah. you know what? I was a kid once, and I liked all that food. Did you? Yeah. That was what you were eating when you were. We a kid. were. We were. Certainly was. Banh as a matter of fact, and... it's banh mi, banh mi. No. 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 Really? no. In the seventies, uh, in Houston, my family. Uh, uh, sponsored a couple of Vietnamese families that came over, okay. and we would go eat over at their place all the time. And I love their food. Gotcha. Yeah, I know. I'm a, I'm a unicorn is... when it comes to this kind of stuff. Well, sure, yeah. yeah. But did, did that prevent you from wanting to have the hamburger they advertised <laughs> on television, like all the rest of the white children? I didn't. I didn't. My mom McDonald's, was. A, McDonald's. The problem is, is my mom was an amazing cook. Oh. And so I was always happy with the food she made. I wasn't like, I want to try. Brag about it. I want, I want a Fun time well. machine so bad. I want it. I'd like. You know what you do next time my sister comes? Yeah, ask her. Would she bust she you on that? Or bust is she my or, balls. Or is she, or oh, is she God, bought yes. it on this lie, too? No, no. Brett really I, loves I pho. Even, I promise you that I will not warn her. <laughs> he loves yeah, noodles. I he will not talk kid. to my sister about this, and you can ask her next right. time that she's here. All right. okay. Probably All New right. Year's Day. Good. There we yeah. go. Oh, yeah. And it's coming up. Yeah. The holidays are here. Yes. We are in the first holiday yep. of the holidays. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I, I, you know me. I'm a Grinch. I'm Grinchy. That means it's your season. It's my season. Yeah, it's my season. We did talk. We did talk <laughs> earlier right. how much I don't like Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I, Are you a Halloweener? Are you a Halloweeny? Um, uh, I'm a Halloween person as much as uh, like you decorate uh, I, your house. My wife decorates my house. Mm. <laughs> my you go, wife, yep. my wife is a huge Halloween person. In oh, fact, my wife was very upset that uh, a we got sick last week and we couldn't have a last minute Halloween party, and b that I was going to be here for uh, <laughs> Halloween because normally we have a big thing where we like mingle with the neighbors. Uh, she loves Halloween. Mm-hmm. I'm. You're fine. Eh, I, I've never been a gigantic costume guy. I'm too much of a last minute person mm-hmm. to like ever really put a lot of thought into it. I always like have like a, a big passionate burst sure. two days before uh, uh, things need to happen. The exact right amount of time, I think, to be excited for Halloween uh, is like you have an idea. But, I'll buy it tomorrow. You don't buy it tomorrow, and then you buy it on Halloween. But even then. You know, at least throughout the rest of my life, I've mostly been excited about Halloween because uh, it was a time where, um, as a single man, everybody got drunk and all the girls dressed pretty. Slutty. Mm. (laughs) Well, you said it. (laughs) Brett, come on. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. All right. All right. All All right. right. All right. 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 He's been canceled, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Justin. He's been canceled. Although I was thinking about this today, because yeah. I was joking with uh, Ashley. Ashley was like, "Oh, how many Barbies do you think we'll see?" And I'm like, "Oh, a lot, mm. almost as many as you would normally see at a sorority like party, because oh. that's normally been like the go to yeah. for for sorority girls. Sure, the blonde uh, is like, oh, how does a blonde pretty girl do a costume? Oh, dressed like a Barbie, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. It, it fits in in all ways." Now everyone's going to do a Barbie, but mm-hmm. also I would say equally and possibly more so Oppenheimer, the himbos. Oh, the Kens. For yeah. the Kens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Ken enough. And that's just a sweatshirt. You just buy the sweatshirt. You got it, baby. I mean, yeah. Although like, I mean, if you like to do the lazy way out, I will say Which I do. the, 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 the body image 
of uh, uh, trying to do a Ken costume. Mm. Jesus Christ. The amount like of confidence. Like the abs, the abs yeah. on screen in any one moment <laughs> of that movie. Are all perfect. Jesus Christ. They're all perfectly shredded. <laughs> just like vacuum sealed. Like just not right a before. drop of sodium <laughs> like to be seen. It, it is nothing but a- unseasoned mm. chicken and brown rice. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have salt. It's, it's salt's bad. For no, you, unfortunately. Uh-uh. just protein farts. Uh, like okay. uh, as 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 far as the eye can see. Uh, okay, yeah, I can. I, I think Barbie and Ken, classic. Another classic yeah. Halloween costume. I imagine. Um, what else? Like skibbity. Do you think kids are going to do skibbity or the toilet? Who's thing. Skibbity? Skibbity, is, I think Skibbity is like a as like an online. The online memes are so weird now. They're so weird now. Skibbity is I is like a toilet in Gary's mod with the G man's head popping out of the bowl, and I think that's Skibbity. I don't know what the fuck you just said. Yeah. Uh, uh, there is like the the uh, uh, memes that I have seen about the generational gap that. Uh, like millennial humor is uh, uh, LOL lightsaber, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gen Z humor. Oh, no, wait. Did I get it right? No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Basically, uh, uh, <laughs> Gen... Uh, uh, Different uh, generations be joking like this. Gen Z, they're, they're the youngest generation, mm-hmm. uh, their memes are incomprehensible mm-hmm. it's just like 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 the the meme was like dave but the font was smeared <laughs> like <laughs> there's just sure. an element of like oh no it's funny because you have no idea what the fuck it means yeah the same with i think the the mainstream press has picked up on like the ohio memes ohio as a meme is that the astronaut one no just ohio just many things about ohio most normal ohio post ever just another day. Oh. It is. Uh, I know. I've seen. I've seen pieces about that because it's. It's this weird type of like uh, maybe implicit comedy. Like it's not. It's not like stopping to say like Ohio's so boring. It's, no. It's like yeah, man. It's like typical Ohio shit or like like it's it's not a. It's not judgmental. It's not a judgment. It is just it's the shape of because millennials meme. millennials were very judgy. Yeah, like we, we were with very the inventor so. of of the Florida tag. Yeah, millennials were so judgy. <clears throat> yeah, how judge how judgy were they? They were so judgy. They decided to be America's dick floppy at all times. This was this is the time that I actually really miss being in Florida because I looked at the heat map right now. Everything cold as fuck, except for this one warm little dick <laughs> just <laughs> jutting off the side of America, having a time. Boy, are they having a time! Well, it was like, right. Like, it was up like this too. Uh, I, I think I'm realizing something about myself in that uh, I'm thrilled that it's cold because now I have something to fight. I get to make it warm against the cold. We're going to have a fire. It's yeah. going to be amazing. Today is projected to be the coldest Halloween in the history of Austin. How This cool is, is when that? the horror movie starts, right? The what? coldest mm-hmm. Halloween. Yeah. This is what the characters say at the beginning of the yeah. movie where people start getting murdered. It's called Slash Frost. Yeah. And it's n- not the best word play. Text they tried. Cargo. Cargo knows. This is definitely when people start saying, oh, my God, it's the coldest Halloween in Austin history. Can you believe that's it? when people start getting killed. It's the least haunted day of the year, Justin. <laughs> We've just declared 100 years of no murder. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Unrelatedly, let's go to Bryce with the weather. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cold. It's great. Yeah, it's, it is it cold. Sucks. It's uh, the worst. Look. All things it's being awful. equal, I would have preferred fall starting a couple of months ago, but I don't mind if winter starts right now. Bullshit. No, it's bullshit. 
What? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't, I don't want winter. I don't want winter. I don't want no, winter. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm so oh, no, I came no, to no, Texas no, for no, the no, heat. Maybe I got a misfunction in my old ticker listener, but it sounds like you two are disagreeing with me. Yeah. Well, no, we agree that it's nice that it's chilly right now. We mm. just disagree that it should be forty uh, fucking degrees. It is going to be winter immediately because also we're also the meteorological actually, reality it, it is on our side. Be. It's gonna it's gonna warm up in <laughs> a couple days. Like Eighty in a couple. But days. Uh, uh, we are, are all suffering. Draw my objection. Yeah, <laughs> and also it's rained, it, it's rained a bunch too. Yeah, it's been great. As a matter of fact, all right, five uh, minutes. Uh, the uh, 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 I don't know the fire cops. What do they call them? Firefighters. No, those are firefighters, Bryce. Uh, uh, the, these are fire cops. policers. <laughs> right. The fire cops. Huh? Hot boys, hot boys, what you gonna do? <laughs> what when? you gonna do when they come for? Uh, uh, you, by which I mean the type of uh, tree. Bum, banner, 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 banner. Hot boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hot boys come for you. Hot boys, hot boys. Uh, uh, I gotta tell you, man. Go. Tell me. I'm very excited. About what? About the clear skies. Mm -hmm. About the cold The weather. bluest sky. No. <laughs> <laughs> Three, don't, don't, no. two, one. <laughs> uh... That is discipline. That's discipline. Discipline from you. So, uh, you said mm -hmm. how excited you were for the return of Fire Marshal Brian. Yep. The only person better than Fire Marshal Brian is uh, uh, it's rained a lot and Everybody agrees it's good to have campfires Fires. going. Yeah. Because uh, what I do is I go out, uh, back into the back acreage. And so I, hold on. I, let's let's set up some context here okay. for everybody. Right. No. Uh, uh, Austin has been in a drought over the last several months. Forever. Uh, and uh, it has rained a lot yep. over the last week and a half. Uh, the burn ban has been rescinded here in Austin, which means that Brian can have a campfire, which is always done responsibly, even when things are, are uh, more in the middle, right? I, I, I don't think that you have ever outwardly yeah. defied, like when when people, uh, or the, the word has been that there's like a high likelihood of a forest fire, but you, you are somebody that does like a campfire. You have an appropriate place for it. Uh, and, you, and, and yeah. uh, uh, by the way, when, when there's a burn ban, uh, what they explain very explicitly is if you are cooking something, just make sure it is fully enclosed and you're cooking something. The burn ban is mostly for like, you know, people who are clearing giant, you know, scrubs of firewood and just, you know, setting on fire or whatever. Um, uh, we have been respectful of all of that. However, a longstanding trepidation that I've had yeah. has been the fact that all of the paths in the back five acres have been cleared and yet very little of that dry kindling like wood mm -hmm. has made it out of the back five acres, which is part of the reason that every winter, every single time I do a lap around, I grab one giant and pull it back and then set fire to it, which means I've had some very messy fires. Very excited. Yes. To get back to, to, get back messy, to messy, silly, just, sloppy just fires. Burn all of that bad kindling. Yeah. Where do you think those branches are going? To the sky. Yeah. What do you think happens when I burn a bunch of them? They all go in the sky. Globally, what do you think happens? Go to branch heaven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds right. Bunch of branches hang, hanging out, shooting pool. Just you know, talking to each other in exaggerated accents. We all agree that, right? Everybody... Yeah. Every, uh, that branch heaven is real. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that, and that brand, and that the worst thing that can happen from burning a bunch of brush 
wood. Brushwood. On this property. Yep. Is that they go to branch heaven? Mm -hmm. In which case, I'll be the first to say, oh, you're welcome. You just did the thing where you get killed by getting burned in a horror movie. Because you explicitly pointed out the significance of your name to the method of your death. Yeah, but what if? What That's if? bad, dude. That's bad. You're definitely getting murdered on the coldest night in Austin. What if I wasn't sick? Because the best way this... Are you sick? No, I'm not. Which is why I will not die sick burn this evening. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking Logan Roy... <laughs> Logan Roy just booed you. God damn it! Puerto Rican... <laughs> Puerto Rican Logan Roy just booed you. Finger to my drive. Man, it's it's a magical time in Austin. I it I, is. I, I it really is magical. Like like it like, is like good. yeah. We're we're being silly, but that's partly because like it really is like, who oh boy was it hot for a very long time? It was. And now snap. How was it last week? Uh, before it got cold, we got our week of summer rain in late October. <laughs> keep keep on coming, keep on coming. Uh, it I, was just like it was just fucking sweaty, hot, humid summer rain nights, and it's like eh, we promised you them, but well, whatever. We made it up to you. We gave you a week of summer rain yesterday. I. Uh, I Whenever I can, I try to take Joy on a walk around the seven acres. Uh, yesterday was the day that we were making our lap around, and I saw a little, little bitty trickle down the, the uh, what in some places they call the crick, uh, a creek. Um, and I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Almost like I'm in Seattle. Look at you. Pacific Northwest, Brian. PNW, Brian. PNW. Are you going to get a beanie? Uh, no, but I am thinking of going gay. Which kind of gay? I don't know. Kind of worse. There's a, lot, there's a lot of different. See, back in, back in the day, you think that there was a one-size-fits-all gay? Not now. No. Many types of, uh, many, 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 uh, many such cases. What's the one yeah. where you're attracted to the other sex? What's that one called? It's a broad phylum called gay. But there's yes. many subphylums. Right. But so you need to sort yourself out immediately. Otherwise, it's gauche. Okay. Which one lets me eat pussy? There's a lot of those. You gotta pick your you gotta pick the one. Just assign me need. whatever. I'm sorry. It's my no, first no, day no, at college. Sorry. Uh, I can't only you can choose it for you. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like the DMV. I can't just like I can't just put you into a slot here. I'm just trying to help you. I mean, I just have the catalog. I mean, let me just say, I'm the type of gay where if you could just put me into a slot, I would thank you. What type of gay is that? I'm there to consult the manual. <laughs> flip, so flip, 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 solid flip, deflection. Flip, 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 solid flip. deflection. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not really. All I know is that there's a lot of different versions. No. Uh, so what? But what, what you're what you're talking about is more of a uh, uh, cosmopolitan, adventurous. Uh, 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 I'm in the heliotropic game. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. You, you know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna pivot now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's talk about uh -huh. what. And in, in fact, I invite the chat to this. Yeah. What is a heliotropic gay? What you just described. What one is that? You're a gay guy who likes to eat pussy, uh, and will if you just look at a slot, you're gonna fill it. Okay. Yeah. He, uh. What? So would you like to can? Firm and lock in your uh, uh, choice of a character. Does does this guarantee me access to pussy? No. Oh. Well then, this is mostly for mailing purposes. 
Okay. Well, let, let's put this is mostly let's, sent to banks, so they can appropriately send you heliotropic. Yeah. Heliotropic. Uh -huh. The sun. Uh, well, that's the root of helio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tropic. That's about <laughs> tropics. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. But I get, I get to like pussies, right? Bryce. You can. You've been abandoned by your god. You can be bisexual, <laughs> I guess, or pan, or. Bye. <laughs> god damn it! God damn it! I'm sorry, Bryce. I'm there you sorry, go. Bryce. No, don't worry. About that. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the rest of the pre-show green room, great room holding thing. Bryce Castillo still coming at you live. God damn it! Still coming at you live from, uh, wonderful Austin, Austin, Texas. Why is my thing not playing? Play me some music. Uh, hello, everybody. We are going to start the show in just uh, just a few minutes. I'm trying to play some lo-fi Animal Crossing music, and I've plugged it into the wrong thing. I've plugged into the wrong port. Uh, do you hear that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the rest of the show. Let's do some birthday borners. Uh, I'm going to go to the Birthday Borner channel here in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. And uh, we've got we've got one today. It's Xmodem. Xmodem's birthday is today. Ha ha. Come a little closer, closer. There you go. Ah, it's so cool. Ah, it's a little guy. It's a black mage. Ah, okay. Who is Nala? Oh, you're a I don't know Star Wars. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, so, uh, uh, happy birthday. Shout out to Xmodem. Xmodem's having their birthday today. Happy birthday to an Xmodem. Get your birthday borner shout out here on the show. Go to discord.greatnight.tv and uh, let us know. Hi, everybody. I uh, uh, want to talk about some fast cars really briefly. Brett, would you like to talk about fast cars with me? Are you on mic? But don't put me on camera. I won't put you on, my, I'm on camera. No. Sure. Let's talk about fast cars. Over the weekend was the Mexican Grand Prix ah. in Mexico City. Uh, 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 I talked about this a little... Or no, I didn't. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. But, and and uh, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was heartbreaking. Heartbreaking at the beginning. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, uh, Sergio Perez, the, the Mexican Formula One driver at the moment, uh, it was his home race. And uh, he crashed out of it at the very first turn. Oh, man. And it was entirely his fault. <laughs> and so he ruined his own race. Has he not driven in his own town? Or is that not his city? Is he? Um, but yeah, I don't know that he's from Mexico City. Yeah, but well, no, yeah, race. but he's. Uh, I'm just. I call it. Just realizing. <laughs> who. All right. I. Uh, we're, no, we're doing Bryce's segment now. Yep. yep. <laughs> we're doing Bryce's segment. He, uh, 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 so wait, you said he was going to retire. Did he retire, or we, did he just die? We don't. <laughs> he hasn't died. Thank, thank, thankfully, he hasn't died. He hasn't died. But I, I think he, I think he could retire. He is having a bad season. He might lose second place in the championship, despite having the fastest car by two country miles. Damn. Uh, it's 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 kind of a bad showing for <laughs> being second place. That's the thing. He's second place. He's like firmly like number two after their other driver. Okay. But he But he sucks. He kind of is sucking. He's sucking and he's he's, he's got the yips. I, that I think that's part of it. There's been a lot of conversations about him and about his performance, and now it it's uh, it's this thing. I have to imagine if you walk in every week and it's like, oh, who's gonna take your job? Next, I mean, who's gonna uh, oh. undercut you? So in he's in his head. He's got the yips. The yip. Yeah, I think so. Um, hopefully, he can yippy kaye them out of the out of his system. Is he gonna be at the uh, at at Las Vegas or no? I mean, that's two races from now, so okay. I guess we'll find out. Normally, I mean, he's got a he's got a contract through the end of next year, uh, but um, uh, that uh, is not. That doesn't mean anything to Red Bull. Red Bull have Red Bull did this this year, where they they like, almost said killed. They fired someone uh, <laughs> who was under contract with them. They said, "You suck, kid. We're gonna put someone else in here right away." Um, 
So I think even though he's got a piece of paper, it's uh, it's looking pretty dangerous for Checo, I think. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So Brazil is this week. That's right. Brazil, Interlagos. Yeah. Uh, is th there's another race between Brazil and Vegas? No, but there's a week off between. Oh, them. off week. There's bye a, week. Yeah, there's a bye week. Um, Do you think they're going to be just there in Vegas just doing press or uh, does F1 care? Um, well, they normally, hey, uh, Justin, I'm going to take a look at you. Hey, now. what's up? Hi. Look at me. You. Uh, they, uh, uh, F1 normally, thank you, and I'm going to go back on the camera now. Uh, they uh, they tend to make it a part of their schedule that they go and do their mandatory press stuff on Thursdays. So, or I guess for Vegas, it would be Wednesday, just the day before all the stuff. So I, I expect. But they don't care. I mean, like, I don't know. It feels like, like I, but behind the scenes, mm. F1, like, either needs to punt on the idea that they're ever going to do a Vegas race again, or they need to really make this a success. Because right now, from the Vegas perspective, it does not seem like it is a screaming success, considering we were able to get you a hotel on the strip for <laughs> a very reason. Very when, reasonable. I, when I told Ashley what the price was, we got you a hotel on the strip. She was like, that is significantly cheaper than what it was for TwitchCon. Yeah. Wow. It's uh So the fucking video game convention. Now granted, closer to the summer, that uh, Vegas does historically get deader as it gets closer to winter because uh, uh for people who have not been in a desert, it gets fucking cold. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh but yeah, not not uh uh not a huge hit so far. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. I think uh, the race will be a thing where there won't be any good sides until they actually do it. And until then, it's going to be, you know, this 12, 14 month period where all the locals are inconvenienced and uh, we have to hear about the locals being inconvenienced. And we'll talk about that, I guess, a little bit later. But uh, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, and all the all the tourists who come to Vegas to spend a fun weekend but they mm -hmm. have to be inconvenienced because there's a thing that's happening yeah. in the middle of the night <laughs> three months from now yeah so that i can go and be a fun uh, so, so that i can you have can a go and not watch it <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna try i'm gonna find, I'm gonna find a place i'm gonna go oh, you think you're gonna hustle i i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna see what i can do damn i'm gonna see what i can you do. know he's into it because he's using the streets <laughs> <Wow. I'm> all... <laughs> I'm on. Yeah. I'm like, I am more. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see what I'm I can I'm do. I'm gonna see I'm what I I'm can do. I'm gonna see. God, I wish I've never <laughs> wanted to just summon O Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and Red Agnes, right? More I've got than I do right now. I've <laughs> often wanted to do it, but never more than now. Uh, man, that would have been. Woo. Uh, anyway, that's uh, some fast cars. We'll talk uh, about them. Another time. Hi, everybody. You want to do uh, I, Oh, hello, caller. I, 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 hi, first time, long time. I, the uh, boy, is it wild to be standing on this stage and see a full on uh, Jawa running yeah, one of the we have cameras. A Jawa this is running incredible. Camera. <laughs> this is <laughs> unbelievable. I hope I don't get thrown from a, my house by the Mandalorian. <laughs> in episode two, I mean, I'm a, why are you looking for me to a reaction when you're doing Maggie Smith as in Jawa? <laughs> Who's Maggie Smith? Okay, there. He is. Uh, okay, thank you, Jawa. Uh, All I'm saying is it's Halloween and this shit is fucking lit. I'm so stoked. It's the coldest Halloween in Austin. <laughs> Stop history. saying that. We're all gonna get murdered, and I think he's. <laughs> And I think he's John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> oh, I see it. I wonder. We'll find out when we start the show. All right, let's start the show, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Patreon.com slash Great Night is where you can go to support this whole dang thing. Get the bones every week. It's a fantastic bonus podcast. Easy RSS feed, all the other stuff, whatever, whatever. All right, let's check in on everyone. I'm allowed to say whatever every once in a while. All right, Justin, you ready to do the show? Yay, yay. Brett. Hello, friend. Ooh. Uh, Kinnon. Ready. Jawa. Kinny. Ooh. <laughs> Plus the live chat. I continue. Oh, it's the live chat. Oh, there we go, everybody. We're going to start.
inside the show here in just a moment. Brett, I'll count you in. Thank you. And... 